Okay, hey. So I'm hopping on here a few minutes early. <clears throat> and I apologize. But I just wanted to do that um, to go ahead and give people a moment to um, get ready. I'm going to go ahead and invite some people. And while I'm waiting, I'm just going to cut some cherries to put into my water here. So, hopefully some people can join us. You won't be able to fully see my face the whole time, but that's okay. Um, what I have going on here right now is my infusion water bottle, which I love, and I just found out that um, it is being discontinued. Hopefully, they're improving it. I don't really know what they can do to improve it, but hopefully, that's just to improve it. So I'm just pitting my cherries and tossing them into my bottle of water. And then it will infuse my water. The yummy, yummy deliciousness of these cherries, which are really wonderful. Now, I do have a little story about these cherries. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on in this world today. I'm not sure who stopped in, but if you could say hi, that would be wonderful. But my story about the cherries, and what I was starting to say is, I am not sure what's going on with this world today. I am um, increasingly scared, actually, because the, little, the lack of intelligence is just so evident. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. But these cherries, the girl rung them up three times. And when I pointed it out to her, because they're $16 bag of cherries, and I was like, it looks like you rung them up three times. And I literally pointed out to her on the screen where it showed it three times. She just kept repeating that, that's the sale price. That's the sale price. That's the sale price. And I was like, but it looks like I got charged three times. That's the sale price. That's the sale price. And I was like, honey, I'm listening to the words that are coming out of your mouth. But why does it show it three times? And her response was, I don't know. She did not ask for help from anyone until I told her I needed it removed because I wasn't paying three times for no cherries. Okay? But anyway, so that's my story about these cherries. I don't know, she did get help and they removed the cherry being charged multiple times, so I'm glad for that. And I'm grateful for these cherries because they're really delicious, they're very sweet, very ripe, I'm very happy for them. Now, I was going to do a um, homemade dough, but I kind of ran out of time. Like I said at the grocery store, um, things went a little bit longer than I anticipated. Um, so I am going to, I just used some Mamma Mia breads, and I'm going to make pizza. One for um, the girls, one small one for the girls, and one big one for the adults. But I want to show you something real quick because one of the stones that I'm going to use is the personal size stone, and it comes in this Let's Make Pizza Kit. So the kit's really cute. The box kind of reminds remind you of a pizza box and you open it up and it has a little kid size um, pizza cutter with a cover a little dough roller the personal size stone and a little pizza mat and the pizza mat it's a, one of our flexible mats which I love I love 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 and it has this film on the back is supposed to come off, but I leave mine on until they fall off. But it tells you how to make pizza dough right on, right on the mat. So that's really super fun. The kids love it, love to use this. Um, because we were going live 
the kids are out of the pool and we ran out of time anyways, so I opted for doing the um, Mamma Mia crust just to make it a little bit easier um, for the lot. So that is the first thing I want to show you. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit this personal size pizza stone. I'm just kind of dusting it off because it's was in the box. I have only used it a handful of times, which is why it still looks pretty new. Okay, it's still that nice tan color. Um, <clears throat> this is not a well-loved stone. Not because I don't love it. We just haven't made much pizza on it. Usually, if I have them make their little pizzas, because I only have one personal stone right now, we'll um, put them on the larger stone. So, I really need to pull this out more often. But, you know, it is what it is. So, that's the first thing I'm going to show you. Because I am going to do their little size um, pizza on that. The second thing I want to show you real quick here is... This is my oldest stone. It's their old large pizza stone um, from the classic collection. This is a well-loved stone. They are supposed to brown. Um, they are supposed to brown and get seasoned. The darker it looks, the better it cooks. Um, I've had this stone for uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 years. I'd have to actually look up the receipt for it to, to know for sure. Um, but anyway, it's a well, well loved stone. Okay? Now, I love it. I adore it. I use it all the time. But I did go and order one of the newer ones because I thought it was so cool that the new one has these handles. Oh my gosh, that makes getting it in and out of the oven so much easier. Um, again, it is new, so you can see that it, it is loved, it's getting loved, but it's not as loved as my, my original one. Now, with these stones, you do not preheat the oven, so I'm going to go ahead and start the pizza stuff real quick so that we can um, get that in the oven, and I'll show you a few more pieces of stoneware. And in the midst of doing the pizza, I'm gonna show you some other products. Like first, my coated paring knife, which I was also using to pit my cherries. Um, so I'm gonna snag one of these out of here. These Mamma Mia um, pizza doughs are really cool. They're not, they're not bad tasting either. But this is the small one. Um, <clears throat> I don't ever really brush mine with any oil. If we wanted to, we could. And we have, actually I will, just for fun, just for fixing giggles, I will. Um, we have this really cute um, basting brush that I love. Let me rinse it off. Because it is sitting in the cabinet. But we have a really cute basting brush, which is super fun. And our little prep bowls. So I like them too. So this one is a two cup prep bowl. All my one cups are in use right now. And then this is the chef's basting brush. It, it's neat because it has a little candle to set it on the edge. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in here. This two cup prep bowl is way bigger than what I need. But... Okay, so just, just brush, 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 Okay, and I'm sorry that I'm like cheating you and all of this stuff is just like pre-made stuff, but it happens. Let me open up this, I can prep this at the same time as well. And then, 
brush, 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 brush. show you I also have some store-bought pizza, pizza stuff. Shame on me. I'm taking the shortcuts today. And this is the scoop and spread. So it has one side here. Let's show you just one. It has one side here that you can scoop with. Okay. Over here we'll do, I don't know, four scoops. And then you can spread it with this side or the back side of this. I kind of like spreading it with the back side of the scoop part just because I'm so used to spoons. So forgive me for being weird, but you can, you can technically spread it with the white side. I just like to use the spoon shape to spread. It just <laughs> makes me feel more comfortable. So, um, if you're on here, say hey. I'd love to hear from you. It's always so weird, like when you feel like you're talking to yourself. I see some eyes. Um, tell me a hey. Let me know what your favorite pizza topping is. Because all I'm doing today, I'm really boring today. And I'm just doing a cheese pizza, so you'll have to forgive me. I'll move that over. And then now here's my coated utility knife. I absolutely love the utility knife. Um, I got it with my kit when I joined, and then I quickly had to purchase myself um, the entire set because I just love them. Um, the Mister loves them too. Um, he always talks about how sharp they are. And, um, to be honest, my mom and my daughter have both cut their fingers with the paring knife. So, they are sharp. Be careful. Okay, the next thing I'm going to get at is our, um, microplane adjustable force braider. Well, this one is, yeah, this one's the force one. So, it has this little button on the side that you push to adjust how it goes. So that's closed. This is like a standing position, so I could do like, and it has a little um, knuckle saver, I like to call it. <clears throat> but put your, your cheese in here. Put that there. And there you have it. It does have, um, I also have the fine grater, and it does have like a guard that you can store on the top. <clears throat> the guard is just still in the cabinet, so again, forgive me. So there's cheese. Put that there. See, it's nice in a plain little, little cheese pizza, but I think the girls will appreciate it. And again, <clears throat> we don't have to preheat the oven, so I'm going to get these ready and then I'll just turn the oven on and pop them in. Okay, and I'm going to get more, a little more cheese in here. easier to do when the cheese is um, hard like so like straight out of the fridge I just came from the grocery store <clears throat> so the cheese is soft and mozzarella is a softer cheese anyway so doing it room temperature um, isn't the smartest thing but you know say lovey Once I pop these um, pizzas in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, show you some of the other store that I have. Um, because I know Heather was really interested in the stoneware. And I can also show you my little grippies. 
but I love the little grippers. Um, I have the air fryer, and so I've taught my son how to, he's eight, so he'll like make, hook his own little things in the air fryer. And they're just perfect, perfect, perfect for kids to be able to grab onto some things that otherwise they cannot grab onto. So like he can get his toast, he can pull the, the tray out of the air fryer with his toast on it or whatever if he throws himself a hot dog in there or whatever. So he can pull the tray out where otherwise um, it would be like too hot. So they're perfect. And the, and the other ones, I have some of the other mitts, but they're a little bit too big and bulky for his hands. And so he feels uncomfortable and then he fumbles when he tries to use those. So the mini grippers are perfect. I'm sorry, we love cheese. So this is going to be like a cheese filled pizza. Okay. So. There's all the cheese. I'm going to step over here real quick and turn the oven on and put our pizzas in it. I have to put my other one in but I'm going to show you this too. I have these um, rack guards. How often do you go to get something out of the oven and you burn yourself on the rack? So we have these rack guards that have their silicone and they just wrap around the wire rack. It's really awesome. <clears throat> I have to put the second one on. I just haven't yet. I get lazy sometimes. So let me toss all this stuff over here real quick so it's out of our way. And then we'll talk a little bit about the um, the other stuff. So easy. Oops, a daisy. Jackson's not here, but the girls are out in the pool. Super silent. Usually I have, I want to say hi, I want to say hi, can I say hi? But, okay. On to some additional stones. This is the rectangular stone. Again, some of these I've gotten new since, I think I got some of them in January. So, and since I've been so trained to use just my, my round stone, sometimes I um, forget, but these are perfect for square pizzas, first off. And um, breads and braids. Um, some of the things I've done on the round stone are um, the rings. I, I found the recipe a long time ago, many, many years ago. I was introduced to um, King Cake. And my oldest, she absolutely loves it. And I found a recipe online where you make like a homemade filling, but you use crescent rolls for the ring. It's to die for. It's super delicious. I have made countless king cake ring king cakes on my on my um, large pizza stone. So, but the rectangular one would be perfect for braids and uh, and breads. So, um, like rolls. Kind um, and then this is the loaf pan. Super cute. Yeah. I haven't, um, this was new. I got this in January as well. <laughs> I need to get back into baking my breads. I have some more loaf pans coming. That's actually the number one reason why I haven't actually used it yet is because I only have one and whenever I make bread, it takes two. So I just, I always, um, but I have more coming, and then once I have more coming, it'll be stoneware because it, I love the way it makes like a nice, even crust. So that is 
then we have this baker, rectangular baker. It's nine by 13 and it's two and a half inches deep. Um, we use this often actually for um, casseroles and big macaroni and cheese is like the number one thing we make in this. But we also like to um, use it to make stuff like, we'll throw uh, some chicken breasts in here with some green beans and diced tomatoes and some um, potato cubes and bake it. Delicious. It's a delicious one pot meal that's super simple. Then, this one is 14 and a half by 10 and it's one inch deep. This is perfect for when you want to make um, like pork chops or you know chops of some sort or just bake some chicken breast. I make bacon on it often because the grease or juices don't run out. So this is really cool. Um, so I, I love this too. And it cleans up really easy. You can see it's starting to get some love. It has some TLC. It has some love going on there. Then I also have... I was like, where is it? My toaster oven stone, which fits in my air fryer, and it fits in the toaster oven, but it does fit in the pan chip air fryer. And so it was over there by the air fryer. But this little cutie, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you go swimming? Oh, bless you. <laughs> Um, so this little cutie is very helpful too, to make, you know, quick, um, muffins or whiskets. Um, <coughs> so, this one's pretty cool. Then one other thing I wanted to show you, because I don't know that we're going to still be live when the pizza's done. I can s send you pictures after I get it out so you can see that. Um, but one other thing is the pizza. Cutter. This is the adult one. It's a pizza cutter. Pizza cutter and crust cutter. So it's really cool. Just choo 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 and then to get the crust. So it's really cool. It has the guard on it. So no one will get hurt. Can you cover your mouth, please? Thank you. And um, I think the pizza's not sitting right here, right? She just coughed all up in my face. I slid. You slid. So I love this. Um, if there's anything else y'all would like to see, feel free to comment in the comments or comment anywhere um, throughout the party because I would love to show you as much as you want to see as possible. Um, I don't have everything, but if I have it, I will most definitely, definitely show it to y'all. Um, when the pizza's done, please stop, Lula. When the pizza's done, I will um, pull it out and show it to you. Um, one thing I did want to let you know is that um, these stones are not broiler safe. So like if you like to get that crusty top cheese, you either have to let it cook a little bit longer or you cannot put it on broil. I don't subject my stones to greater than 425 degrees. So um, I, I let it cook. When I do my pizza, I let it cook for 350 for a little bit and then I um, will jack it up to 400, try and get the top of the cheese once it's melted. A little bit crispier <coughs> but um, that's how I do my pizzas but wait until once they're done which will probably be like another 10 minutes once they're done I show you they're done in two minutes um, I will post some pictures to share with y'all bye bye have a good lunch <laughs> Silly. Okay, so I'm going to sign off here. Again, like I said, once I um, have the pizza done, then I will post some pictures for y'all. Have a great lunch.